Now we're going to talk about attributes. Remember, attributes are things like what level is it on, what color is the geometry, what line style is it made of, things like that. All those attributes are covered here under attributes. So if I wanted to change my current color, my current line style, I could change all that stuff here. But I can also change existing geometry that's on my screen. So let's say I want this outside boundary to look a little bit thicker. What I can do is right click on attribute and it says select the entities that you want to change the attribute of. I'll do that trick I did before where I hold down my shift key and then pick this outer profile and now I'll hit enter to end my selection and I could tell it I want to change the line width. I want these lines to be really thick and I can also change the color if I want to. So if I know the color number I can key it in or I can just click here and I'll pick this dark green color and we'll OK that. Now when I say OK here it updates the geometry I selected to be a thicker line style and dark green. So we're going to talk a little bit more about selecting things. We're going to use the attribute function as a way for us to select things and get used to that process. So when I right click on attributes and it says select the things that you want to change the attributes of, you know, I can do the window. And we talked before about only picking things that are inside the window. So if you look at the window I have right here, you can see I'm going to get all of those arcs. So when I click my second point, yes, I got all of those arcs, and I also got this for the outer boundary. And maybe I didn't want that. Well, it's easy enough. I just click on that thing that I didn't want, and it's off of my selection list. Another way to do that would be to maybe pick a little closer to the geometry so this way that outer arc is not contained in my rectangle it's not completely contained so when I pick my second point it'll only take the things that are just inside of the window let me hit escape to get rid of those selections and let's try that again I'm going to right click on attributes it says what do you want to change and this time I'm going to pick my outer boundary again by holding down the shift key and grabbing that outer boundary and then there's a button here that says invert so in that case I picked the things that I didn't want when I inverted it it gave me all the other things that I didn't pick and now if that's all the things that I wanted to select I can hit enter to end my selection and I could tell it I want these to be I'll pick this brownish color here okay that and for my line style I'll pick this hidden line style and I'll leave the line width the way it is and we'll okay that and now they all look like tapped holes well let's say I wanted this one and this one the larger diameter holes to be different. I can use other tools to select that. So when I right click on attributes and it asks me to select my geometry, I can come up here where it says all. And with all, I have different ways of sorting things out. In this case, I can tell it I'm looking for entities. I want arcs, and I can be more specific. I can say I want arcs that match a diameter. Now if I know what that diameter is, I can key it in here. But if I don't know that diameter, I can click in this box, I can right click my mouse, and tell it to match the diameter of an arc. Now, This is a really handy tool. So I can say I'm looking for all the arcs that are like this. And I'll OK that. You can see it found those two. Now I can hit enter to end my selection. Maybe I'll change that line style back to a solid and we'll change our color to this uh, orange color and we'll make that a little bit thicker now it looks like I didn't change my line style well here's another way of picking things 
I'm going to right click on attributes to select my geometry I'm going to come up here to all and I'm going to say all color orange hit enter to end my selection Oh, I guess I forgot to check this so I want that to be a solid line style and okay so there's two things we're learning here one is how to change the attributes of existing geometry and the other one is some of your selection tools I can still pick by a chain I can pick with a window of course I can pick individual elements but I can also pick by type style and color meaning lines or arcs solid lines or hidden lines and of course the variety of colors